Here are just a few quick tips on setting up your tripod and Pro 3 camera and connecting to the camera with your mobile device. First, with the Pro 3 camera, you really want to use a prosumer level tripod, so a pretty heavy duty tripod that can hold up to at least 10 pounds. The way I set it up is I'll straighten the three legs, release the quick release clamps, I'll have the tripod set up with the top plate at just under four feet, something like that. I'll bring the top plate up a little bit in a minute, but I start by setting it up to about four feet, maybe a little less. I am gonna use the bubble level. I do have a bubble level, so I may as well go ahead and use it. If you don't have a bubble level, it's really not a big deal. As long as the tripod looks vertical, you're fine. The camera and tripod can be up to 10 degrees off level, which is a lot. So you'll be able to identify that and see it. So anything you think is vertical is gonna be just fine. With one leg completely locked in, I can easily maintain the height of the tripod and just move it around a little bit to make sure that it's level and then lock in the other two legs. All right, now I go ahead and expand the legs all the way. Now I bring up the center post just a little bit. I want this plate to be at just about four feet or just under four feet so that when I attach the mount and camera, the lens is gonna be at about four and a half feet. It's not perfect science, but right around there is a really good height for pretty much all use cases, just walking around, understanding your environment. If your use case calls for something else, you need the camera higher, you need the camera lower, totally fine. You can just adjust the tripod accordingly. With the tripod set up at the right height, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my T-mount, thread that on there, and just make sure it's really nice and tight. You may even wanna check this throughout the scanning process from time to time, make sure it hasn't loosened up. Release the quick release on the T-mount, grab my camera, drop that on, I'm gonna hold this down firmly to make sure that it is seated properly and then just clamp that shut. You have one button on the back. If you just tap that button, you'll get a battery status. And if you press and hold the button, you'll turn the camera on. So let's go ahead and just press and hold. I'll wait till I see the Matterport icon. Now I know the camera's booting up. The Pro 3 camera does have both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And when your mobile device is connected to the camera communicating and scanning, you are using Wi-Fi only. The only reason you have Bluetooth is to simplify the Wi-Fi connection process. So while you can go into settings under Wi-Fi, find the camera's Wi-Fi and connect that way, I can also just go into the app itself, press new job, go ahead and name this test, hit save. I'll press the phone button right here. You can see a whole bunch of cameras just popped up because in my environment in the office here, we've got a few Pro 3s turned on right now, but I know that this serial number ends in 89, so I'll go ahead and tap that one, hit join, and now I can see that the camera button changed to Matterport Pro 3, so I know that these two are connected. The Wi-Fi icon on the back here is no longer blinking. This says Matterport Pro 3. I know these two are communicating, and I can go ahead and start scanning.